I was contacted by a homeowner who um, let me know that they had an exotic African porcupine around the neighborhood. I asked for a picture and sure enough, when she sent a picture, it was. He was very lucky. He was in a busy area, there was heavy traffic. Um, you know, with our hot summers and then the cold winters, it's, it's pretty amazing that he survived this long. Um, and even though he did make it that long, at some point his luck was gonna run out. I'm actually set up for wildlife. I'm used to accommodating a variety of species, um, and he has probably been one of the most high maintenance animals that I have had into care. Definitely, hands down, African porcupines do not make a good pet. I love their personalities. Um, they just don't want to be messed with, you know? They don't want to be locked in a box. They don't want to feel threatened. Just let them live their own porcupine lives. They're good. Obviously, they're they're pretty pokey, and the mess that he can make in one night is impressive. So they're very smart. They want to be kept entertained. They're not going to be cooped up. It was wonderful to see him come out of his carrier and have all that space immediately that you guys had for him. He's walking around, it's like, oh, it's so big again. <laughs> it was really neat to see that. That's worth the drive. You can love something that doesn't mean that you have to have it in your living room or cuddle it. But if you really have a passion for the porcupines, there's a lot of things that you could do that would make a difference to the ones that are out there in the wild.